Welcome to Gearbox. Um, Jimmy appears to have disappeared up the road somewhere. Uh, let's find out why. Thanks, Jace. I'm here at the concert hall in the Concourse Performing Arts Centre Chatswood, and I've worn a very loud shirt. I'm standing in front of a very loud PA, but loud's not necessarily what Anya is all about. Anya is a new system from EAW with some pretty incredible pattern control characteristics. Now, with each element checking in at 130 odd kilos, getting a dozen of these things into the CX studio was a bit of a long shot, uh, but since it's conveniently up the road, I thought I'd come up here and check it out. I'll come back to the studio and let you know what I think. Jimmy, welcome back. Dude. Wow. Yeah, wasn't that incredible? Mate, I, I got, it's no secret, I've sort of been hanging out mm. to, to hear Anya mm. in person. Because, you know, it's one thing to hear about pattern control, mm. but it's another thing entirely to actually be there and experience it. And, and it was a very new and very eye-opening thing. Yeah, I mean, I've never heard anything like that before. I've never seen anything with that capability. Mm. before it is it is revolutionary and not anything that can sound that good mm. in in such a controlled mm. manner mm. okay well starting at the start rigging it okay rigging it, up. rigging it what are the basics all right each box has integrated flyware basically you fly your bracket in on top of a stack you punch the pins in on the back you mm. lift it out you roll the next stack in underneath if you're going to rig multiple hangs adjacent to each other. The dollies have turntables. The dollies can hold 18 boxes, yeah. um, which they need to be able to if you're gonna drop a whole hang down mm. to derig it. It's all dead hung. There's no angles, there's no, 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 there's no tilting. It all hangs in a dead vertical plane. And in fact, the system's actually got gyros in each box, which mm. can tell when it's moved. Okay, right. So once you got it up in the air, how do you actually define where it's going to cover? How do you access this amazing beam? Okay, the first thing you do is you switch it on, at which point every box talks via little IR transceivers mm -hmm. in all the abutting faces mm -hmm. to every other box around it and goes, mm -hmm. hey, who are my friends? And then all of that appears on your screen in the same logical layout as it is in the physical world. Mm. From there, uh, and this is all done within resolution, the mm -hmm. software, you define your audience area, you tell the software where Anya is, mm -hmm. uh, it knows how much Anya is there. Mm -hmm. uh, you say, I want to cover from this point to this point, mm -hmm. and then you hit go, it does some computations, that takes two minutes maybe, mm -hmm. then it uploads all of that control data into the cabinets, mm -hmm. uh, whereupon your coverage area is exactly what you've drawn. Yeah, and you can actually split, like you can say, I want to cover down yeah, here yeah. and you, up here. Yeah, you can do multiple levels. Yeah, much in what we were looking at last night in a, in a fairly traditional you know, stalls and, and circle. Yeah, yeah, and you can go up or down by 90 degrees each mm. way, so effectively 180 degrees. Mm. Uh, how well you can do that is dependent, of, obviously, on how long your array is, and mm. that, that's a fairly traditional you know, characteristic of line arrays. Mm. Um, the, the bigger the array, the better control. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but look, for me, I think the, the absolutely mind-blowing thing about this was that I've worked in that room a lot and mm. I know what I expect that room mm. to sound like because it's a concert hall, it's a, got a large reverberant field. Mm. Um, and it didn't sound like I expected it to. Mm. Uh, it, it sounded radically different. It, mm. it sounded like, you know, a totally different room. And that's because mm. there was no sound being... Blasted off the walls, off the back wall. Exactly, it was just so controlled. exactly. Yeah. The sound was being sent mm to the area where we were mm. and not everywhere else in the room. Yeah, it was extremely controlled. It was almost like having a studio monitor like in your face. Mm. It was it was very, very impressive. I mean, I think with the power of it, and the, I really want to hear it outdoors now. I really want to hear it in a big, you know, outdoor like my Music Bowl in Melbourne, something like that, really, you know, throwing and covering. I think that will be the interesting test. For yeah, it. yeah. I mean, that that is a good point. Mm. Sort of where, where we were is a decent sized mm. venue, um, but mm. like it's a serious PA. And, and as much as I was game to, to turn it up, I did. Uh, but, you know, at some point you kind of run out of room yeah. um, and, and, you know, you want to keep it within the, the bounds of sanity. But yeah. uh, I think the evenness of the coverage as well. Yeah, this is the game changing technology is the beam steering and, and the incredible control you have over it and the intelligence behind it. That's what's going to really change things. Yeah, I think the, the ability to be able to send the sound where it needs to be, where the audience mm. is and not everywhere else in the place mm. is, is a huge Huge thing, and I, I think they've done exceptionally well with this product. Yes.